the world's smallest vacuum just got smaller. And it does a few different things that none of the others, quite frankly, are capable of. This is the new SwitchBot K10 Plus Mini Vac that also has mopping capabilities built in. Now, you might be wondering why in the world am I doing a video about a smart vacuum cleaner? After all, it is a little bit outside of my lane. Well, if you watched at least more than one of my videos, then you're probably aware that I'm a big user of smart home products, and in particular, products that work with Apple Home. And one of my favorite companies that featured within the Apple ecosystem is SwitchBot. Now I've used a number of their products and frankly, they just never disappoint. And I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to SwitchBot for sending this product out to me for a review. But as always, you're gonna get my honest thoughts and opinions. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what this thing's all about. The SwitchBot K10 was really designed with smaller spaces in mind. So this vacuum is gonna be the perfect device for say an apartment or a single floor of your house. With the new studio that I've put together in my basement, I've got the perfect place to test it out. And thanks to its more flexible and compact size, it can turn on a small radius to reach areas that traditional robot vacuums really just can't. You know, it can get to places like under tables, corners of the room, or even under your couch. Now, outside of the K10 being 50% smaller than a traditional smart vacuum, it also features a 4 liter dustbin, meaning you'll only need to empty the bin every 70 days or so, which is actually kind of nice. And the optimized design of the K10 allows for it to operate at a noise level of only 48 decibels, which is a decrease of more than 50% compared to the industry average. And it has an impressive suction power for its size at 2500 PA. This vacuum features intelligent cliff detection that prevents it from falling down the stairs, disposable mop pads for a fresh clean mop every time, and a 3200 milliamp hour battery for cleaning times north of 100 minutes. This will allow you to clean areas of up to 120 meters or 1292 square feet on a single charge. And if that still isn't enough, the K10 can automatically return to the base station when the battery is low, and once fully charged again, return to that exact same spot that it left off and finish the rest of the way. Now this supports Google Assistant, Alexa, and more importantly, Siri shortcuts, but we'll dive deeper into that here shortly. Everything you get inside the box includes this user guide, the main vacuum itself, and right off the bat, you notice just how small this vacuum really is. Then you get the four liter dustbin, your detachable brushes, and currently it's only offered in this white color, but it is really clean and really blends in with any style decor. Then inside the dustbin, you'll notice it also comes with an extra filter, an additional dust bag, as well as a pack of disposable mop pads. Once you find a good spot that your new vacuum will call home, you'll wanna go ahead and get it set up in the app. And if you don't already have the SwitchBot app, go ahead and download it now. Now using the add device button, it'll recognize the vacuum as long as it's plugged in and then follow the instructions in order to pair it. Now, even if you plan on just setting it up and then exclusively using something like the shortcuts that we talked about earlier or just setting a schedule to control it, it is important to note that any software updates or changes to your mapping, like setting up those no-go zones, you will have to do those within the SwitchBot app. Once everything's paired, you can just turn it on and it'll actually map the room out for you by just quickly exploring around thanks to the LiDAR sensor. And I have to say, I was actually really impressed with how accurate it was on the first try. Overall, the Manufacturers app is really user-friendly and easy to navigate. And within the app, there's four different speeds or suction powers to choose from. You have quiet, standard, strong, or max. There's a lot of different customization options for setting up a schedule for it to run automatically, which rooms to clean and in what order, as well as with what suction power. And once your map is built, you can always go back in and manually add in those no-go zones. Also within the app, you can see the status of your filters, your brushes, and your dust bags in order to change them accordingly. You can also map up to 10 separate rooms, which is really nice, especially with this vacuum being so small, it's you know just easy enough to pick up and take upstairs to my kitchen if I needed to, or really any other room for that matter. And of course, when doing so, there's no need to move the base station, unless for some reason, you know, it's a large enough area that might require a charge in the middle of your session. 
Like I said earlier, I'll probably exclusively use this downstairs, which has 100% carpet. So I did actually end up taking it upstairs to test the mopping feature. And overall, it did a whole lot better than I anticipated. Afterwards, I did notice that some of the spots where something got spilled on the hardwood floor were cleared right up. And it does give you that nice shiny mop floor look that you would expect. Also previously mentioned is that this uses disposable mop pads. So with the smaller form factor, there's no built-in water bin. And after each mop, you're going to have to install a new pad. Now that's not necessarily a huge deal for me, because like I said, I'll be using it on carpet 99% of the time. But if you're planning on, you know, using it on hardwood or kind of a mixture of both hardwood and carpet, you should be aware that it has to be in one mode or another. So for example, it can't both vacuum your floor and mop it at the same time. I know that's kind of a bummer, especially if you're like me and kind of just like to set it up and forget about it. But again, that's not necessarily a deal breaker. In order to use this vacuum with your HomePod, what you'll have to do is enable cloud services back in the SwitchBot app, and then select Siri shortcuts. From here, you can set up voice commands for Siri to start your vacuum, stop it, pause, or return to the base. And of course, if you're only using an Apple TV in your home without a HomePod, you can always just include it in your shortcut apps and control it by just pressing a button that'll pull up all your programmed actions. Now, of course, it is a little bit unfortunate that at the time of this recording, we still don't have Smart Vacuum exposed to HomeKit natively, but there is some good news on the horizon. Apple Home does support Matter, and the latest version of Matter does support Smart Vacuums. And the SwitchBot Hub 2 also supports Matter. And I'm told that we could possibly see some native HomeKit support by pairing the K10 Plus to the Hub 2 as early as the beginning of 2024. So what do I think about this vacuum? I think that, you know, this product is going to be great for those kind of particular use cases, similar to what I have going on here. It does a fantastic job at really getting into some of those tight spots, maneuvering around furniture, and it takes really little to no maintenance. But of course, if you plan on using this for your primary mop, then yeah, that's going to require a little bit more maintenance. And while yes, it would be nice to, you know, see a built-in water tank with reusable pads, rotating brushes, and the whole nine yards, we have to remember that the whole idea of this device is to be as small as possible. And to do that, you know, might require getting rid of a few features. As well as when you look at the smart vacuums that are on the market that do have all those bells and whistles, you're looking at closer to $1,000 versus the MSRP of the K10 Plus being $499. So what do you guys think? Are you currently using a smart vacuum in your smart home setup? And if so, how does this SwitchBot K10 Plus stack up? And if you want to pick one up for yourself, consider supporting the channel by using one of the links in the description. I'll have one for both the SwitchBot website as well as their listing on Amazon. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.